recently I did a video about uh, repairing a lightsaber blade that had a bad LED in it. And the way I repaired it is I took an RGB LED out of a holocron, because they're the same type of RGB LED as what they use in the blades. And in the comments to that video, Sith Slayer suggested, you know, if you are in a position where you have a bad LED in your blade, but you don't have access to a dead holocron to harvest an LED from, could you do something else, such as take an LED from the base of the blade or at the end of the blade and replace it with, uh, replace the broken LED with that? And how noticeable would be a missing LED, say, at the base here, be when you're using the blade? So that's what I'm going to find out. And after that, I'm going to try a couple of other things and we'll see what we can see. So first I need to remove that LED right there. And you can see it's just barely peeking out of this, uh, this black housing here, this black plastic housing. So how important is that LED to uh, the visuals of a lightsaber? Can it just be removed and put somewhere else? That is what I aim to find out. So... Um, I'm going to warm up the soldering iron and come back and take a look at removing this uh, LED. Okay, so I have put the LED strip on this uh, ceramic, ceramic plate just because uh, I can't lay it flat on the, the, the table here. I have these capacitors and whatnot that are sort of in the way. So to give it a little height, I put it on this uh, plate. That seems to have done the trick. Now the board will happily lay flat. And so to remove this LED, I'm just going to flood all the lead, all the, all the uh, legs here of this LED with solder. So I've got one big solder blob across all four pins. Good, like that. And with tweezers in one hand, grab hold of that, and in the other hand, heat those legs up with the soldering iron, and off comes the LED. Now I need to clear that away. There are many options for doing that. I'll try a couple. The first is, I'm looking for my small solder sucker. Here we go. This is a, a solder sucker. It's got a silicone tip here, a little pump here. You sort of charge by pushing it down like that. And then when I push this button here, it will pull a vacuum and suck the solder up into the body. So I just heat the solder back up like so, and then push the button. And it sucks the solder up into the solder sucker. So now I have no more shorts. This blade should work fine. I'm going to reassemble it, and we'll see how missing one LED there affects the presentation of the blade. Just a reminder that uh, this lightsaber hilt has my custom PCB in it, so it does color. It'll light up the blade. Oh my gosh, come on. There we go. It will, uh, when it turns on, it'll light up the blade. It won't, it won't make any noises, and uh, it doesn't react to swinging the blade. But every time you cycle this on and off, it will uh, change color, so we can test all the colors really easily. Okay. Blade is in. Turn on. Okay. And you can sort of see it's a little dim right there. And I'll start cycling through the different colors. But uh, I think you could absolutely get away with just that one LED missing. Again, it's just a little dim there, but I mean, you know what? That's fine. 
Yeah, I don't think anybody is really going to notice that. You will. It will be blatantly obvious to you because you know you removed that LED. But it, yeah, that'll be fine. No problems at all. Okay. Uh, so now let's look at uh, what we can do maybe with that empty LED uh, spot. These should be uh, common anode RGB LEDs. Uh, I bought a couple of packs of a hundred from different sellers on uh, eBay in the hopes of finding one that would produce the correct color or a color that matches the uh, lightsaber RGB LEDs. Unfortunately, they don't. But they might be close enough that it won't matter especially if we're putting it at the base of the blade where missing an LED to begin with isn't that doesn't look obvious enough but maybe if I add one of these in it'll help make it look more stock Okay, the LED is in. The LED has been tested in circuit. It's the right way around. All the LEDs are lighting up when I test it. Time to reassemble and put this blade into the hilt and see how it behaves. Okay, blade is assembled with the RGB LED replacement LED, the one that's not going to have exactly the same blue, green, and red colors, but maybe it'll be close enough. Turn the light off here. Here we go. And, uh, yeah, it's not really noticeable. It looks like that is something you can get away with. Yeah. In this environment where the color is just down here, you can't really make out that it's a slightly different white, a slightly different red, a slightly different yellow, although it is a little greener down at the base there. I don't know if I would, uh, I don't think I would even bother with putting um, an LED in there. I think if you pulled out one of these from the base, the very first one, to replace a dead LED that was somewhere in the, in, the, in, in somewhere else in the blade, um, it's not worth the hassle to track down and common anode RGB LED and solder it in there just to cover a little bit of extra light down here at the base. I think just getting rid of this from the base and leaving it empty is enough.